welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be going through a few more methods you can do to fix Call of Duty Modern Warfare from crashing on your PC. If you haven't seen the part 1 video to this video then the link is in the description below and I go through a lot of steps and methods you can do in that video as well. To start off with, the first thing we want to do is give our computer a good clean by using a program built into Windows called Disk Cleanup. To boot this up all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in disk and you now need to open up disk cleanup. And we need to press OK on our C drive, or the drive that you have Windows installed on. And you now need to just go through the settings and select what you would like to clean. Just remember, if you do select the downloads folder, this will delete your downloads. And if you select your recycle bin, this will clear everything in your recycle bin. Which means I tend to keep them deselected just in case I've got anything in my downloads folder that I don't want to remove. You can now go ahead and press OK and this will just give our computer a little clean making sure it's all running nice and smooth. You now need to press delete files and it will go ahead and give the PC a clean up. You can use other programs like CCleaner and well there's lots of other programs out there that you can give a try as well if you don't like the Windows Disk Cleaner. The next thing we want to do now is turn off our NVIDIA highlights. Turning off the NVIDIA highlights can also fix a lot of issues within Call of Duty. To do this all you need to do is boot up your NVIDIA GeForce game experience by simply going down to the bottom right hand corner and right clicking on the NVIDIA icon and then clicking on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you don't have the icon in the bottom right hand corner you can always search for the NVIDIA GeForce Experience in your search bar down in the bottom left hand corner. Once the experience is open you now need to click onto the little in-game overlay option and you then need to go to settings and we now need to scroll down until we find highlights and you need to make sure it is off. As you can see on my screen at the moment, it is currently turned off. Once you have flicked the little switch to turn it off, you can go ahead and press back and done. And you can now close that overlay down. And you can try and boot the game up to see if that has fixed your problems. If you're still having issues, then the next thing, unfortunately, is just to completely disable the NVIDIA overlay. To do this, all we need to do is simply click on the settings cog. And we now need to click on general on the left hand side. And you now need to click on this little button here next to in-game overlay. And basically, this will now disable any NVIDIA commands that you can do within game like record videos, take screenshots, it will just completely disable the overlay. And you can now go ahead and boot up Call of Duty again to see if that has fixed your problem. If you're still getting issues in game, don't worry because we still got a few more methods we can go through. The next method is to boot up the game. Right, once you have booted up Call of Duty, the next thing we want to do now is click on two options in the bottom left hand corner of the game. Once you are on options, we now need to go across to graphics and you now have display mode as your first option. You now need to change this from full screen if that is what you are currently using and go ahead and press full screen borderless and then try and boot up a game and see if the game doesn't crash. If it does still crash then the next thing to do is try and play the game in windowed mode as this can also resolve a lot of problems within the game. If you are still having issues after testing in windowed mode, full screen mode or full screen boardless, then the next thing is to change the resolution of the game as well. To do this all you need to do is click on advance under render resolution and you can now go ahead and try and change the resolution. You can simply just choose a different resolution by clicking on the drop down menu and then giving the game a go again. 
I know it's pretty annoying by lowering the resolution, but if it does mean you get to play the game for now until they fix the problems with the game for your computer, personally, I think that is a bonus. Once you have tried changing the resolution and booting up the game and also changing the display mode, if you are still having problems, then the next thing is also just to make sure you have VSync disabled. This can also help with frame rate drops in the game as well, which we don't want to have problems like that. Now we need to scroll down a little bit more and at the start of the video I said about disabling the highlights in NVIDIA, you now need to just make sure that is set to disabled. And as you can see at the top of the game at the moment, it's doing that installing shaders to optimize the performance of my gameplay. While this tends to crash a lot and freeze and doesn't actually finish the percentage, if you are having issues of that freezing up or not installing, then to fix this all we need to do is simply click on restart shaders installation. And this will basically clear all the shaders cache and reinstall the shaders. And also by doing this can fix a lot of issues in the game as well. All you need to do is simply click onto it and then press restart and it will begin the process again. If your installing shaders has been completed and you don't have the message at the top, but you are having problems with the game, then press restart shaders installation as well, because this will fix a lot of issues in game. And also if you have done a graphics card driver update recently, then you should be restarting the shaders anyway. The next thing to do is once you have done all that and the game still isn't working then you need to scroll down more on the graphics and we want to change our texture resolution. We want to simply try and change this to normal as this can also help fix any problems in game. To be honest, if you just change all of this back to default by simply pressing reset tab to default and press yes, it will reset the graphics completely to the default settings of the game and this can help fix any issues with the game as well. Once you have done that, try and boot up the game and see if it resolved your problems. Also, when you are playing Call of Duty, make sure you don't have any programs or software in the background running, like your web browser or notepad, just anything, just close everything down before booting up the game, as they can also, well, when you have something running in the background anyway, it does require memory and graphics, and that could be affecting your game from running smoothly as well. And that is it for this tutorial. I really hope the methods in this video have helped you. If they have, hit the like button below. And also, if you have found a way to fix one of the problems you're having, and I haven't said it in this video or the part one video, please comment below and help everyone else out. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.